Well, hi folks, and welcome back to Run for the Hills. I forgot to do an intro to this video, so I'm actually sitting at the end of the video right now. And the upside of that is I really know what happens in the video. So uh, if you decide to watch this video, uh, you're going to see me do some blow up kayaking. I've got a beautiful riverside campsite that I've stayed at for five days and I've had a really great time. Um, found some neat places in the forest. One of them had the creepiest sounds in the forest that I've ever heard before. Uh, you're going to want to hear that. It was amazing. And some beautiful bird songs. Uh, just an amazing trip. And you'll get to see this happen. Ooh, foxy lady. All that coming up on Run for the Hills right now. and misty and a balmy 12 degrees not the 18 to 21 degrees that the weatherman promised so I'm not that happy with the weatherman but that's okay maybe it'll be nicer tomorrow still looking for a place to camp There's a little bear cub. Can you see him in the mirror? Oh my God. He almost ran in front of me. Holy crap. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I wish I could turn around and go look. Well, as promised, I'm back here at this fork in the road. And last time on the last video, I found this really cool escarpment that way straight ahead but there was this other road to the left and I said last time I was here that we would uh, take a look and see where it goes so that's what we're gonna do
and that's how it ends. Huh. Well, not all roads lead to somewhere. This one definitely leads nowhere. Cool though. And a bit of four wheeling. Well, that didn't lead anywhere, so let's head back out and uh, find ourselves a place to camp. Well, I can't not check this out. Just off Marine Road here, there's a this little lane that goes looks like it goes right to the water's edge. Doesn't look like a very sunny spot. But it is right on the lake. Isn't that fascinating? I don't think I could set up my tent here though. With the ladder, etc. Hey guys. Well, I was uh, on Marine Road. I'm still looking for a place to camp today. And uh, I noticed this little side road. And I came down this little gravel side road. And uh, behind me is Ferry Lake. And the truck literally uh, is right here. And as you can see, we are right at the edge, right there, of this lovely lake. Isn't that lovely? Look at all the lily pads. That's just wonderful. It would be great to get out here on my little kayak. The problem I have is that I don't think I could manage a campsite in this small an area. I couldn't get the tent up. Well, why don't we just keep looking for a uh, another road like this one that's maybe a little bit bigger. Might get lucky. And uh, then I can take the kayak out. Looks like it's going to rain though. Which isn't too bad a thing because I really wanted to test this new tent out in the rain. Well, what do we got here? Uh, we'll just trudge along for a minute or two and see if maybe there's someone to turn around. Well, it was a nice drive in the country anyway. There's a lot of keep out signs. No trespassing. And um, also, we have a bit of backing up to do. Well, I'm afraid I gotta 
at least attempt to turn around because I've been backing up for, oh, I don't know, half a mile. So I think maybe we'll do a 165 point turn and um, get pointed the right way. Okay, we're going the uh, right direction again. for a place to camp now and I know a few places um, a little farther out I'm gonna end up probably just taking one of my familiar spots if I can't find something new but I mean I set out today to find something new and um, right now I'm just finding a pile of dead ends So I think this is where I camped before by that river. Um, last time I drove by here, it was really crowded. And it is Friday, so it's kind of the weekend. So we'll just take a quick peek. So, I could drive across here, but I don't know. Pretty good little current there. Um, last time I was here, hello dog. Hi, Pooch. There was a bit of a party crowd, but right now there's just a young couple. These are quite well built. Like I know anything about it. Isn't that wonderful? What do you think of those, honey? There's another one over there, see? This one's quite intricate. When my wife tells me what it's actually called, I'll tell you in case you don't know, but you probably do. It's just I'm super dumb and forget these things. Isn't that nice? What a wonderful job they did. Beautiful. Well, I think it's decided. I'll hang around here. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to the truck. So that thing elevates quite well. This tire is way off the ground and it still fits. So that's nice and long to fit down to the ground, which is very handy. Also, I bought ice this time, put it in a cooler instead of the fridge. 
and since I have the river I'll just dump it in the river and it'll stay um, ice for a little longer instead of just melting away so that's nice this is a pretty sweet spot pretty nice I'm listening to um, as I mentioned before I'm uh, a musician and uh, a singer more of a singer than a musician but some buddies of mine asked if I'd be interested in doing um, a remake of Foxy Lady and oh yeah I hope you can hear it Kind of fun. Do love doing that during COVID. Pretty nice view from the rooftop tent tonight. Pretty nice. Let's keep those mosquitoes out. Well, good morning. Had a restful sleep last night, very nice. Um, everyone was nice and quiet. And I've got hot water going here for coffee. Um, but I'm not gonna film the whole coffee thing today. I have something much more annoying to film. And um, that is setting up this thing, the sport near. Uh, the reason, hang on. The reason I don't like the sport near is not setting it up. It's taking it down. Once you try and fold it up, it's the, I find it to be the worst frustrating nightmare ever. And my wife figured it out, but not me. Uh, so I'm gonna set it up because there are a few people around and there's pathways going into the woods. But what that tells me is that people who've camped here before probably went in there. They're not real trails. They're just like, you know, they've been made and there's probably horrible things in there so I don't want to go in there and start digging so I'm forced to use the sport near however I have a nice out-of-the-way place to put it that I'll show you in a minute okay a few things I need to have a successful um, movement by the river when there's some people around. That's gross. But anyways, I got the sport in here, which I'm going to set up. Then I got the, uh, the toilet, the bag, because you can't just dig a hole beside a river because things leach, which is also gross. So you have to take it with you uh, unless you're going in deep in the woods. Okay, and obviously some toilet paper, etc. So let's set this thing up, um, see what happens. I don't remember how to do this, it's been a long time. I know I don't like it. It's all wrapped up like that, that's fine. However, And there it stands, like an obelisk in space. The sport near, standing stoic against the elements. 
That was so dumb. Let's go finish coffee. Set up the awning because the weather doesn't know what it wants to do and I don't want to get wet. So I wanted to see if it fit here anyways. I mean, not really giving you a very good view. I'm just gonna come over here. Um, how cool is that? Well, I had leftover breakfast sausages and that's what's gonna be for lunch. I would never buy these and eat them at home. They're greasy. Um, but I poke them so most of that grease comes out because I like them kind of dry. Um, but anyways, uh, it's not a very good lunch, but um, I'm camping and it's, it's leftovers. People ask me sometimes, hey Doug, what do you do when you're bored and there's nothing to do while you're camping? The weather's kind of so-so, what do you do? Well, the answer to that's simple. I pace. A lot. So I got myself one of these little um, Gorilla Grip for uh, my Osmo action camera. And it's been really helpful. I would recommend one of these things. It's pretty cool because you can wrap these little legs around anything. You can get neat camera angles. So I'm having fun with that. And I don't know, 20 bucks or whatever. It's great. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, it's got a neat level in it. Well, there are a few housekeeping chores that I need to do. Oh yeah, take a look. Gorilla Grub. Ah, it's just so handy. Anyway, um... Got some house cleaning to do. And that's kind of where the my table is most of the time. And down here, and look at all that. Ugh, awful stuff, right? Um, I just got a new vacuum. So let's give that a test. I shouldn't say that. I did actually test it before. It, it works okay. But we'll give it another test on this area here. Maybe I can suck that mosquito up that's flying around. Okay, it's got another speed. bridge and every car that goes across it right now is a camper <laughs> or somebody looking for somewhere to camp so I'm getting my kayak going I'm just gonna go out and uh, here we go
collection of trash that I'm picking up from alongside of the river so far. This is bound to happen. Those are the only two things I've seen, so I guess that's good. Not too bad. I was going to make a nice uh, little video cooking dinner, which was just a, uh, a hamburger. Nothing serious. But uh, there's gunshots and there's people behind me yelling and having fun and being annoying just because it's loud. So I'm not going to really make much of a video as far as cooking goes. We'll see what happens though tomorrow because chicken wings are on the menu, even though I forgot the barbecue sauce. Uh, it's okay. All right, so that's what we're doing right now. Real quick look at dinner. And I promise you don't have to watch me eating it either. But there you go. Well, even with all those rocks under my back left tire, trying to level up the Jeep in this spot, that is still what's happening, which means that's what I'm doing while I'm sleeping. I'm rolling over to this side of the tent and, um, when I wake up, my back is killing me. So I think I better get myself some plastic leveling blocks. Well, good morning. Um, got some coffee going and uh, trying to plan my route for today's little hike. Um, I was considering packing up and driving across this river and um, taking a nice long drive. Uh, apparently, you can go for a long way down that way um i didn't know but it goes this is harris creek and it goes right down to the uh san juan river and i guess fairy lake also drains into it uh which then goes to the ocean if i get down that way and i see that i could go a long way on my little boat then that will happen ready to go I just put the key on and I'm ready to take off down this way in the boat I don't know how shallow it gets though we'll have to see right here's not too bad we'll head down there and see what happens and I'll tune you back in as soon as I know and get underway it's a little bit of wind in the face not too bad so yeah apparently you can drive your 4 by 4 all the way along this beach and uh, I don't know how far down it goes. Uh, he said it wasn't that far. But uh, we'll find out. Okay, so let's... Let's beach. There we go. Well, let's go um, walk up that way and have some lunch. See you there. Just take a couple of seconds to listen to this bird. Isn't that lovely? A little zen moment for you there. Well, I guess I might have thought about bringing something to sit on, but that's okay. Got all my necessaries in here. Car keys, sat phone, etc. One Corona. And some water. And I got a sandwich. The venerable Peanut butter, jam, and cheese sandwich. Ah. 
pipe is but a dream. All the way to the other side. Oh yeah. So I found this beautiful place here. But that sound is very scary that's coming from the trees. I do not know what it is. I'm not a hundred percent sure that I want to find out either. But look at this place. It is very beautiful. Isn't it amazing? It is so still and serene. That is a scary sound. Isn't it amazing? What the? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Got everything? Yep. Bye, Sam Squatch. Come on. What do you think? 150 pound woodpecker? I don't know. Bit of a current.
right, so uh, tonight, it's my last night here, so I'm gonna make uh, classic camping food. And uh, you'll see what it is in a sec. Spray a little spray in there. The wiener. Turn that heat down right away. Turn that down even more. Who knew? Just gotta cook these a little bit. And I'm probably gonna waste to have a can of beans because I'm just gonna put half a can in. But yeah, wieners and beans. And um, I might add a little whiskey in there. It is um, quarter after nine at night. So I'm starting to lose the light. And uh, that's fine. That's probably good enough. Oh, they look kind of okay. And so, like I said, probably half a can of beans in there. Mosquitoes are out in force, even though I'm covered with mosquito repellent. They're still coming after me. Maybe just a few more beans in there. There we go. Never done this before, but it might be fun just for added taste. The old C and C. 92, that was a good year. Well, what do you think? Does that look appealing? I think it does. Just have some classic camping food for a change. I'll just let that simmer for a little bit. Okay, I'll turn on the smell a meter. How's that look nice? Smells good. Very nice indeed. And they are done. So now I'm gonna have my dinner and then see what happens with uh, these group of partiers. But I don't think they're gonna do it right across from me, thank God. All right, here come the partiers. I'm just getting it on film. Here they come. Hey, how's it going? Oh yeah, this is fine. Holy. That's crazy. Thank God they're going down there and not right in front of me. We do like keeping dishes to a minimum. One is too many. Nice. Done. Hey folks, I wonder how the fine people at Ready Light would feel if they knew somebody had stuck one of their little magnetic corner lights to the bottom of this 12 gauge coach gun. They'd think it was crazy. They'd think I was out of my mind. But uh, look at that, it gives off a nice light. It's not too bad. They wouldn't think it was crazy if they saw this. Oh yeah, baby. Way to confuse anything from a Sam Squatch to a common criminal or a bear. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, it's just crazy talk because that thing would come flying off right away. 
but it looks kind of neat up here in the tent. Look at that. All right, everybody, have yourselves a good night. woke me up at 4.30 this morning. Those are some very noisy birds. We gotta get some coffee going because uh, I gotta have a coffee. Turn the tank on. Let's get this going. Everything's really up high for me right now because the truck is up on those rocks to attempt to level it out. Turns out those angry birds at 4.30 in the morning are ravens. And I didn't know they kind of screeched that high. But apparently they do. Little beggars. So I really need coffee. Although I went back to sleep you know, around 5. Got up at 8, so I can't complain too much. I'm just going to grab this, not knocking anything over. And we'll just heat this up. Well, I'm remembering. Coffee will stay hot for a while. Four minutes. Coffee's done. Oh, thank God.
Clean as a whistle. Very, very nice. All right, Sportineer, put up your dukes. you what a terrible product it works when it's up but you can't close it it's a complete piece of damn it what a piece of crap you could spend hours trying to close it and you can't somehow my wife figured it out i mean oh well maybe i can get her get her to help me when i get home Anyways, that was the most annoying part of the whole trip, was this stupid sport near. I've got to locate a model that does the same thing that's easy to put up and down. That's crap. If anyone knows any good, uh, you know, tents or whatever, please say so in the comments below. Because this is a piece of crap. I don't care what anyone says. I've never liked it. Hey guys, well, I guess that's the end of another camping trip. I'd like to thank you all for coming along with me. Please like and subscribe as it does help the channel. Thanks again for watching Run for the Hills. We'll see you in the next video, and until then, have fun.